It might be hard to believe, but the Samsung Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus have been around for about six months. Since its release, a plethora of devices have been released, some better than others. We've had the OnePlus 7 Pro and Note 10. However, we wanted to take another look at the S10 to see how it's holding up and if it's a worthwhile purchase six months later. Let's go. The day-to-day -day experience on any phone is easily one of the most important aspects to consider. Over time, we've seen devices slow down considerably and eventually get to the point where they feel so slow and almost unusable. Samsung devices were, in fact, notorious for this. However, in recent years, Samsung has made strides in this area, and we're happy to say that the S10 feels just as snappy and fluid today as it did on launch. Scrolling is smooth and responsive, opening and closing apps seem to perform without hiccups, and overall, it's a fantastic experience. Before we go any further, I want to take a moment to tell you about something super cool that dbrand, this video's sponsor, is doing. They're launching a new limited time skin called Robot. It's an extremely sick skin that you might have seen around on the internet lately. Now available, you can go pick it up for your device today. Huge thanks to dbrand for sponsoring this video. Regarding the cameras, they're perfectly acceptable. Obviously, they're a bit on the punchy side with a lot of sharpening and contrast. For my taste, they're a bit much, but they are by no means bad cameras. Obviously, if camera performance is paramount to you, then you might want to look elsewhere. The Pixel 4 is just around the corner, and we already know that it is going to be a killer addition to the smartphone camera scene. Obviously, now that Android 10 is out, we wish it had received an update by now, but our AT&T S10 Plus is still rocking Android Pie. Not horribly outdated by any means, but the fragmentation of Android is still quite evident here. Out of all of the phones I've tested, the S10 continues to be one of the best phones battery life-wise. It can easily get me through the entire day, which is fantastic. Obviously, this depends on your usage and what apps you tend to keep running the most, but generally, the battery life is quite good on this device. Due to Qualcomm's update cycle, the S10 is actually still on the latest chipset on the market. Even though phones such as the OnePlus 7 Pro have been released since, the S10 hasn't been quickly outspecced with the newer chipset. However, looking at the competition, there is certainly some enticing options out there. The OnePlus 7 Pro's gorgeous 90Hz display is by far a better screen than that which the S10 has to offer. The cameras on the Pixel 3a, and presumably the Pixel 4 that is just around the corner, easily outpace the S10s. But considering that the S10 and S10 Plus have received considerable price drops, you might still want to consider this device. You can pick up an S10 for around 500 bucks or an S10 Plus for 550. That said, the OnePlus 7 Pro costs only 670, so that might make you hold off on the S10. Choices, as always, up to you. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the Android Police channel. If you'd like to subscribe to my personal channel as well, feel free to click on my face here. My name is Jackson Hayes, and this is Android Police.